fresh evidence against the uh, Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, uh, as ID card of uh, a policeman who led raid on Justice Odili's residence was signed by this same uh, Attorney General of the Federation, uh, Buhari's Minister, Malami. Uh, Justice Odili's family residence at Imo River uh, Street in uh, Methama Abuja was raided by fully armed uh, plain clothes uh, security men uh, last uh, Friday. Uh, which is the fresh evidence uh, as a match that um, uh, would expose the Attorney General of the Federation and uh, Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, a senior advocate of Nigeria, who earlier denied his involvement in the invasion of the residence of a Justice of the Supreme Court, Mary Odili, by uh, security operatives. Justice Odili's family uh, residence at Imo River State uh, Street in Mitama, Abuja, was raided by fully armed uh, plain clothes uh, security men uh, last uh, Friday. Mm, the security operatives were said to consist of soldiers and uh, officers of the Nigerian Police Force (NPF) who identified themselves as members of a joint tax uh, force. Even though he has denied involvement in the invasion of the house of the uh, number two judge in the country, uh, Malami still has to come clean with a convincing explanation. Okay, the identity card of the police officer who led the assault on the residence of Justice Odili uh, was signed by the same Attorney General of the Federation, AGF uh, Malami. Sir reporters learned that the name on the ID card is uh, Ajodo FL of the Police and Assets Recovery Unit. His rank is a CSP Chief uh, Superintendent of Police, while his position says OIC Investigation. Uh, Jodo's ID card number is uh, 001. The ID card was signed by Abubakar uh, Malami, senior advocate of Nigeria, attorney general of the uh, Federation. So our reporters had earlier reported that the chief magistrate of uh, Wuse Zone 6 Magisterial Division in Abuja, Emmanuel Iyana, admitted that he was lied to, which made him sign the search warrant allowing the invasion of the residence of the Supreme Court judge, uh, Mary Odili. Iyana uh, had said he was misled by the uh, Federal Ministry of Justice under Malami. Uh -huh. Yes, the Chief Magistrate uh, consequently uh, revoked the search warrant due to uh, mis a misrepresentation in the first information application supplied by an ADHOC uh, public asset recovery panel domiciled under the Justice Ministry and uh, overseen by uh, Malami. Upon misrepresentation, uh, the so-called uh, honorable cause that led to the insurance of a search warrant in favor of joint panel recovery ministry of justice against house 9 emo street metama abuja dated october 29 2021 in view of the above fact the said search warrant is hereby uh, revoked he had ruled armed operatives had stormed their uh, odili's uh, residence bearing a warrant that was issued based on information from a whistleblower aliyu umaru uh, an Abuja-based uh, resident. Umar had, had dis, uh, deposed on October 13th that illegal activities were going on at No. 9 Imo Street, Metama, which could warrant immediate action from law enforcement agents. Odili is next in line to Nigeria's Chief uh, Justice, uh, Fanko Muhammad, and, uh, and stands to benefit from his removal uh, should that happen uh, before our uh, retirement on May 12, 2022. Uh, sources said that the raid uh, approved by yeah according to uh, some sources uh, they said uh, the raid approved by the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice abubakar malami uh, which is the senior advocate of nigeria was to let her know she would not be allowed to succeed uh, muhammad as the head of the nation's uh, judiciary uh, which uh, is also that odili who was appointed a justice of the supreme court on june 23 uh, 20, 2011 was born on may 12 1952. Uh, this means she will be due for retirement by may 12 2022 uh, on turning uh, 70. Uh, but uh, Muhammad, uh, who was appointed a Supreme Court judge in 2006 and sworn in on January 8, 2007, was born on December 31st, 1953, meaning he is younger than the uh, Justice Odili and will not retire until 2023 uh, when he turns uh, 70. Another source said uh, regarding the raid on an uh, old Dili's house, it was planned uh, because they don't want her to become the next uh, CGN. 
though she is retiring in about six months uh, that is like six years to the cabal hmm. they are planning to remove tanko muhammad before then and don't want the woman uh, to even act as a cjn which is the uh, chief uh, judge of nigeria for one day uh, the most senior uh, justice <laughs> okay okay said so the most senior uh, justice after Odili uh, is uh, uh, Ariola, but the claim is got a terminal illness. He is expected to retire soon on health grounds. Uh, the fourth most uh, senior of the uh, justice uh, who could take over as CGN is Musa uh, Datijo Muhammad. Another northerner from Niger State he is also expected to retire in 2023. Uh, they accused Odili of being a PDP uh, opposition party, uh, which is a People's Democratic Party uh, judge, and that her husband helps her uh, to fix lots of uh, judgments at their home in Abuja. And that was why the husband was also embarrassed uh, recently. Well, I forget also about uh, Malami said Dinaras. He was directly in charge of the raid. He chose uh, the day President Mamadou Buhari arrived from Saudi Arabia to do it because he needed to impress uh, Buhari that he is still loyal as efforts are being intensified to remove him as a, a minister. Yes, it has been said that uh, uh, Buhari is planning to remove uh, Malami. You know, Malami has done a whole lot of havoc and atrocities. Uh, they want to force Tanko out soon and they don't want the woman to replace him. Uh, they considered as too close to the PDP, well, which is the PDP, uh, People's Democratic Party, so they have to embarrass her to ensure she doesn't get to replace him at all. Hmm. Okay, um, judgment uh, for the uh, plenty for there about because as it is, I believe uh, Nemesis uh, definitely one day is going to catch on uh, catch up on Malami. Malami is trying all his possible best, you know, to to, uh, uh, to turn Nigeria upside down. If not, uh, if, if 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 not, he has done that already. Uh, come to think of it, this so-called Malami, I believe uh, 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 Nigerians are watching. Uh, Buhari uh, does not really have uh, much say. I believe uh, Buhari himself, you know, he has entrusted, you know, these offices into these people's hands for so much, and they have, you know, jeopardized his uh, efforts. <laughs> oh, Niger Delta, Nadon Yeramo from uh, your northern uh, one Nigeria. Because I would say there is nothing like one in Nigeria if they had succeeded. The same way Igbo's house was invaded, uh, the same way uh, Namdekano house was invaded. Now, this is uh, Odili's uh, house. Well, the facts are now imagine uh, Justin Onoge was disgraced out of office so as to create a room for Malami. And uh, now they want to do the same to Justice Od Odili. We cannot be quiet and live as one, killing ourselves and uh, dying slowly. If we must live together, we have to define our unity and nobody is a second class citizen in Nigeria. We hold this country together. If not, let's go our separate uh, ways. That's what uh, the comments of some persons are here. Because as it is, uh, they believe uh, uh, the so-called Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, uh, has you know done a whole lot of havoc. You know, you know, uh, signing some such warrant or doing some things that are unlawful. Because I've say, said it that Malami is unlawful. Uh, is an unlawful AGF, the Attorney General of the Federation, or maybe he does not really know what. A position he carries or he does not marry such well malami should be sacked uh, with immediate effect which is uh, uh, what uh, nigerians really want and that is what is going to be except buari wants himself to be killed uh, buari is he is not even ready because he he knows oh i don't think whether that person is buari because namikana has already said it that uh, the buari in 2015 that's not the same buari uh, we have uh, a year at present and this is so so very very appalling so that is what it is and we as nigerians we need to uh, you know have a plan b according to pastor paul adifarasi who says hey, plan b uh, notwithstanding i would like you to share your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for listening and god bless you